I, I try to be optimistic about this, that companies are not purposely losing money. You know, so I think there is a, a leadership issue where there's they're, they're just not delegating authority. And if you do the math, and, and we've talked about this before, Brent, you know, if you do the math on what it costs to have all of your employees involved in this hiring process, including getting up to CEOs and things like that, you're spending far more money, you know, you know, uh, prolonging the process than it would be to just hire, you know, a person that meets most of the requirements and train them or onboard them, you know, especially if you quantify, you know, how many hires you might have in a year. If you do all of that math and just build an onboarding program, you you would be able to train people with 60, 70, 80% of the skills and, and build them up to the 100% you're expecting very quickly rather than, you know, four, five, six interviews. Like, you know, two months of interviewing is two months less of somebody doing on the job. You know, especially I always, I always, you know, go back to like sales positions. You know, you're hiring a salesperson. If if you haven't hired this person for months, that's months of no sales. So what were you accomplishing? Yeah. You know, and for the for the candidate, you know, there there is some expectation. You know, there's there's certainly due diligence companies should do. It is very expensive to hire people. That is not going to change. Yeah. So we can do better on the candidate side to lower our expectations, understand that that companies are are optimistically not trying to take time, that they do want to hire, but there is um, you know, some need for you know everybody to come together. Uh, and pool decision making because delegating authority is a skill, and if you don't have leaders that can do that, it's it's an immediate you know uh, hurt to your bottom line. 